Hello everyone, this is Teacher Gon. Let's talk about adding the following dissimilar fractions. By the way, when we say dissimilar fractions, these are fractions with different denominators. So let's have examples number 1 and number 2 throughout this video. We have 1 over 4 plus 3 over 6. The first thing we need to do is to figure out how are we going to make these denominators the same. As you can see, it's much easier to add fractions with similar denominators or with the same denominators. So first, we need to think of the LCD between 4 and 6. So what do you think is the LCD between 4 and 6? Okay, very good. The LCD or the least common denominator is 12. So what we're going to do is to think of the numbers that we can multiply so that this 4 will become 12. Very good. We need to multiply 4 by 3. So in that case, we will multiply the whole fraction 1 over 4 by 3 over 3 because it will not change the value of the fraction itself because 3 over 3 is just equal to 1. So it's just multiplying 1 over 4 by 1. And then plus 3 over 6, what about 3 over 6? What must be multiplied to 6 to make it 12? Okay, very good. We will multiply this by 2. In that case, we will multiply the whole fraction by 2 over 2. So we have 3 times 1, that would be 3, over 3 times 4, that is equal to 12, plus... 3 times 2, which is equal to 6, and then 6 times 2, that would be equal to 12. And as you can see, right now, we have the same denominators. So in that case, we can simply copy the denominator, which is 12, and then add the numerators, 3 plus 6, that would be 9. So, you might think this, that this is your final answer after adding the two fractions. The last step is to check if we can still simplify this fraction. 9 over 12 can be simplified into 3 over 4. We will divide this by 3. We will divide this by 3. And this is the correct answer. We have 3 over 4. So you can pause the video and answer 2 over 3 plus 1 over 5. Now let's continue answering 2 over 3 plus 1 over 5. First, we will figure out the LCD between 3 and 5, and that would be 15. So in this case, we will think of a number that we will multiply with 3, and very good, that is 5. So we will multiply the whole fraction by 5 over 5. In this case, this 5 times 2 is equal to 10 over 5 times 3, that would be 15. And for this part, plus 1 over 5. What must be the number that we need to multiply to 5 to make it 15? Okay, very good. The answer is 3. So you will multiply this by 3 over 3. 1 times 3 is equal to 3 over 5 times 3, that would be 15. In this case, we could copy the denominator, since they are the same. Then 10 times 3, that would be 13. And as you can see, we cannot simplify this anymore because 13 is a prime number. So the final answer must be 13 over 15. So that's it guys. So as the last part of our video, I will give you another item for you to answer and tell me in the comment section what is your answer if we will try to add 1 half plus 2 over 3. Okay? So I hope guys you learned something from this video on how to add 
the similar fractions. So guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!